Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights that were released in May 2021. This one is the list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, so if you haven't seen it, go watch that one. Let me know which ones of these you're most interested in, and I might do a detailed review on it. And in the next video I will be covering the top assets and effects. As always, there's links to the assets in the description, and as a bonus, you can use the coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And by the way, check out my own assets on the store. So far, I've made the free key door system, which is a super simple way to add keys and doors to your games, and the mouse cursor system pro, which is a very easy to use tool to help you create some custom animated cursors to really make your game stand out. I'm currently working on converting some more videos into pro systems, so stay tuned for that. All right, so starting off with feel, it's an awesome tool to make your game feel really good. Now this one is actually a compilation of three other assets. One you might be familiar with is MM Feedbacks, and if you already own that asset then you can get a free upgrade to this one which is always great. So this is a series of tools to really add some next level polish into your games, easily add some camera shake along with some particles and maybe some sound effects with some post processing. Just looking at the trailer, you can really get a feel for how big of a difference it is between the unpolished and the polished experience. If you're working on a game, always make sure you actively polish what you have. Polish is what separates good games from great games. This is definitely a package that I intend to do a full review sometime in the future. Then a simple but great tool named Pixelate. It lets you take a 3D mesh along with animations and converts it into a pixelated sprite sheet. This is the same process that was used to make the awesome game Dead Cells. It makes for a very interesting look, with some extremely smooth and correct pixel animations. Also it generates the normal maps, so your pixelated sprites can then be affected by lights to look even better. If this is the art sound that you're going for, then this tool will definitely save you a ton of time. If you're interested in AR, here is a complete AR shooter package. It's a simple project, but seems great if you want to learn. Pick up your phone, point at the environment and shoot the zombies. I've never touched AR, but this is the kind of complete package that is great to download to break apart to inspect how everything is done. Next up, easily add a very capable movement system to your characters. This one just came out and already has tons of extremely positive reviews. This is the second version to another character movement system and that one also has extremely positive reviews, so this is a very solid package. It includes 30 examples for you to try out and see just how versatile this asset is. The demo scene has pretty much every environment obstacle you can think of. You've got ramps, stairs, gravel, seesaws, ledges, low gravity and just about anything. Works with both of the input systems and also it has integration with Bolt, so that's great if you're working on a game using primarily visual scripting. Next up, a package to handle the new iPhone IDFA rules. Now I'm not very familiar with mobile development, so no idea just how hard it is to handle the new changes or how easy this package makes it. But if you are a mobile developer, then maybe give this a look. Then an interesting one, Shadograph Markdown. So this is kind of like Odin Inspector, but for Shadograph. It lets you create some headers, some foldouts, make some inline texture and color fields. Looking at the comparison images, it definitely can make a huge difference. If you have some giant shaders, then this can be a huge help in organizing them. Works with Unity Shadograph and also with the Amplify Shader Editor. Next up, Terrain to Mesh. Like the name implies, it converts a terrain object into a simple mesh. This is a new upgraded and improved version of the old terrain to mesh system that was made all the way back in 2015, so it should be a very mature package. Easily generate with as much or as little detail as you want. So maybe you have some highly detailed terrain in the background of your games and you can use this to simplify it and get some better performance. You can export pretty much anything related to terrains. It's got a huge number of options. Then the advanced screenshot creators, it's got all kinds of options for taking screenshots. This is an editor tool, so it's not meant for players to take screenshots in the final build, instead it's for example for marketing purposes. You can very easily take a bunch of screenshots with all kinds of resolution and aspect ratios. So usually when you submit a game to a store like Steam, there's a bunch of capsules you need to submit, so I can see this being useful for that. Or you can also take a 360 degree screenshot, so maybe this could be useful for integrating with a phone and making some very quick 360 view of the inside of a house or something. Next up here is Simple Fog of War. 
I've previously covered how to do a field of view effect in another video, but what I covered there was a method using the CPU, whereas this one is GPU based, so it's highly performant. You define a certain width, height and resolution, and the fog perfectly matches the character and identifies the edges. It's got some nice smooth edges and even merges with other friendly objects. So it's a great asset for any strategy game like an RTS or maybe a MOBA game. And finally you've got Expanse. Create some gorgeous volumetric skies with this tool. All changes are visible in the editor so there's no need to go into play mode, super fast iteration. It is all physically accurate so it looks extremely realistic. But there's also a bunch of options for you to choose from between quality and performance. It is HDRP only and it looks gorgeous. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the Unity Asset Store that were released in May 2021. There's links to all in the description, and remember you can use the coupon code monkey 10 to get 10% off your order. I hope you found this list useful. Check the phone playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up anything and what you intend to do with them. Also remember to check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.